Hi, welcome to this tutorial of uh, build your own ISO. But this time we're going to build an ISO on the Arco Linux D version. And we're going to do something that has not been done yet. We are going to build an Arco Linux D Awesome. So you may have uh, seen already our tutorials about Awesome. So it's there, we have the config. But what if we can make an ISO that we just pop in and have an installation, install maybe VLC with it or any other of the browsers and then have awesome already. So that's the goal. Let's make ourselves an Arco Linux D ISO. Now the first things first we need to get again uh, of course to the same GitHub. So we need to go to a browser and let me move that one to screen number two but first I'm gonna delete all the pages that come up and that's the one we need so we go to Arco Linux we go to the Arco Linux D ISO and we are going to get this URL so get that that's it then we go to your home directory I have a folder called Arco Linux and in there I'm gonna say git clone me everything control shift v from the github so now I have Arco Linux D ISO correct let's kill the browser otherwise I'll get always these pop-ups so next thing we do is something I did already in the past but maybe we should open the browser again let's um, do that again and kill all of everything again on the other screen because I was th just thinking normally what would you do you would say you go to the arch wiki and you do awesome that's probably the thing you'll do and then you start reading okay read 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 you need to install awesome that's pretty clear and I wonder if we have anything about vicious it's down here in extensions we need vicious as well awesome and vicious those are the two names you need to remember those are the two things we need so building an Arco Linux D ISO you go to the arch ISO you go to the packages dot both open it up on this screen let's scroll a little bit like this all at the bottom let's say let's put here awesome and let's put here vicious but that's not it we have now awesome and vicious but we need to be able to launch it and and where is this awesome configuration that's here this line here says Arch Linux awesome kit that's our work and that's our Arch Linux awesome config so we need this okay that's done hashtag is gone anything else we need Control find we need everything with light DM so our display manager so I'm gonna activate everything concerning the light DM I want everything to be there okay so the whole block is activated that's that then you might think <coughs> that's enough and normally I would say yeah but it all depends how and what you have as source so this is our arch ISO source now we're going to go into the rest of these folders we've never looked at these uh, folders and we have only ran number 30 which is in here packages both and 30 that's all we did but if you want to have awesome then we have to remember where Arco Linux D is coming from Arco Linux D is created to have a clean slate hard drive with Arch on it. Well, Arch slash AOR, a few packages of AOR, not much, and Arco Linux. Together, three elements form Arco Linux. But in here, there is this Calamares folder. And in Calamares, there is a module, and in the module, there is a packages.conf. 
When we install Calamares, these are the configurations of particular modules. And the one that interests us is packages, because in here I have told him to uninstall LightDM, which is good if you want a clean slate installation at the end. But in this case, I don't want, do not want to delete LightDM. I want to keep LightDM as it's going to start up everything, the display manager. Then I can log in, Eric, logging in, and then awesome starts. So I need it, okay? Neither do I want to delete Arch Linux XFC Tunar because Tunar is a file manager in our awesome. So these three we remain, will remain. XFCE is necessary to boot up. Eh? If we have this live ISO, we're starting in an XFCE4, a minimal one. I grant you that, but it's XFC4. But afterwards, if it then is installed, we need to get rid of XFCE because maybe we would like to have GNOME or we'd like to have BSPWM and so on and so on. So it's in here to say try and remove. And try and remove means no system install failure if a package cannot be removed. So it's a soft remove. If I really say remove and it holds there, then the whole installation of the ISO is broken just stops so that's why the try and remove so these elements should be changed and maybe something else which is not necessary but just spreading the knowledge you know interesting to know into the root folder there is a customized arch iso root file system dot sh and in here as well control find you'll find a LightDM service. So I'm telling run, start, enable LightDM service. So it's not there. If you, if you delete it again, well, it can't be enabled, right? So we have to keep off of everything. That's okay, that's, that's said correctly. But just want to show that there is also an instance of LightDM that's in there. Might be interesting if you want to do something else in the future. Not LightDM, but SDDM and other uh, MDM and, and oh, who else is there? GDM, etc. Other display managers. So, added two packages, awesome, fishes. Told him to get the packages here, down here. This is the bare minimum. Of course, we can do more. We can get the art themes and we can get. Um, other stuff in here. Um, Genie is also interesting, maybe. NeoFetch would be nice. Nitrogen would be okay. Plank, no. Polybar, no. Rofi is okay. Root, sure. Slimlock, um, yes, we use that. And awesome. Termite, sure. Tin2, no. Variety, yes, please. Um, a wallpapers, yeah, why not? And that's it. All the rest are elements for open box or i3 or are or, or not just not or not suited for awesome like a plank is not suited for a tiling manager. And that's it, no conkeys for a tiling manager. So you can go further down up here and say okay, what else do I want? Do I want min stick git? Yes, I want the min stick, I want ABC to be there, I want PAMAC to be there and screen keys for my teaching, sublime text, I like it, and so on. You keep on hashtagging out, but open box is open box, so we're going for awesome. That would be strange. Uh, why not surfing together with it? And why not all the icon teams, you know? All the icon teams with an N. Like so, i3 is strange. I wouldn't do that. I have my Breeze browser, so for me that's enough. But I do like Vivaldi. And that's how you go on and go on and go on. Let's not make the video longer than necessary. So this is what you do. You select the applications you want for the rest. And then you say, okay, let's give it a try. Let's see if this works. If I go to the installation scripts, right mouse click, say number 30, build the ISO, and see if we can make an Arco Linux D awesome. Just like that. Uh, 
In the meantime, I'm looking around for some nice wallpapers. That variety throws at me. It's a nice one. I'll keep this one. So you know how the drill goes. If you say, oh, nice wallpaper, view a desktopper.co, you're logged in, head here. Uh, it's saved, it's on my Dropbox now. It's that easy. So now we're gonna wait for the build to conclude and then we're gonna boot. Pausing. Just showing one of the mistakes that are possible. Fail to retrieve file with value, etc, etc. And less than one bytes per second transfer to last 10 seconds. Doesn't mean anything, just rerun it. It just means that the GitHub is uh, in, has a hiccup or something and there was no connection for 10 seconds or so and then everything stops. So you need to have a little bit of luck in all these ISO building thing but just keep retrying. In this case retrying will not give you the same result. It will improve. I mean if there is this error of time latency or what you say the speed latency or something just rerun it and uh, next time you'll have more luck. Okay, pausing again. And there you go. We are already past the download. Everything is downloaded as you see. The speed is fairly good. And we have 589 packages. That's all. And with that we make our ISO. Pausing. Okay, 1.2 gigabytes already. For the few things that I've selected, that's what our prize is. Super F7, let's go for it. This is Arch Linux D, fine. Choose disk image, Eric, and then Arch Linux D build, Arch ISO, out, this one. Okay, start. Control F. We launch our ISO with the first line and the second line is our hard disk. If we've installed already anything, that is. So this is what you get. Um, we have Arch Linux D, meaning it's very minimal. And it's that minimal that it doesn't know what to do. You know what to do. We are a live user. You press on return and you press on login. And that's it. You're set to install everything. So live user, no password. Okay, now we go for the normal installation. So where are you from? The languages and all that. It's next, next, next. And most important is your keyboard. In my case, I need Azerty, otherwise I'll get gray hair, which I already have. So this is Arco Linux D. Awesome, the first. The very first awesome. Like this. Next, 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 and then you wait and let's pause the video here. And there we go, all done. Let's restart. Keep our fingers crossed. What should we expect? We should expect LightDM. And then if we log in, we should have all. Let's see if that's a success or not. So this is LightDM. My name has been dealt with in Calamares, this is my password and logging in and this is awesome. Now it's uh, up to us of course to make sure that everything is set. Uh, you see here the black cursor, I rather like the snow cursor and so on and so on. But uh, already some of the stuff have been installed, screen key, the US mint stick remember that I did, sublime text I chose already, Vivaldi is there. Um, that's all I chose I think, that's it. And the LightDM, GTK, and that's it. So not, not much uh, software has been installed and already 1.2 gigabyte of ISO is needed to make. So now you know why an ISO gets big. Um, it's, it doesn't take a lot to have uh, a two gigabyte ISO. It's just a matter of software you choose. All right, um, not much to tell you here. So we've now created Arch Linux D, awesome. And we can play around with it. It's in the tiling window manager, as you can see, and you can go ahead. NeoFetch is not installed, I think. So let's uh, try Zen the guy. 
normally always pecker it, so now I'm going to try zen it just to show what we run. Fetch. So you see this uh, nice little penguin. So we say, hey, where's the logo? Logo is broken. So pseudo Batman minus S W three M is needed. And image magic. Oh la la. The font is absolutely lovely. I think I wrote it correctly. And there you go. New fetch. Ta-da! The logo works just requires two elements to install and then there it is so like i said um, it's now up to you to decide what to do um, tunor is not installed so you sudo pacman minus s tunor or any other file manager for that matter but tunor works well for us because it has all kinds of um, extra elements um, here in the custom actions we configured so many interesting custom actions that we're actually now addicted to it so anyway um, it's all up to you what you decide as file manager and um, you can make it as nice and as uh, ugly as you want all right enjoy awesome